Studebaker Avanti is a legendary icon of its time in 1962 that still polarizes today. Round shapes meet consistently running lines, seemingly straight lines end up in powerful forms. Who doesn't like this extremely rare classic car in the first glance should take a second look. The designs for the sports coupe came from come from the studio of Raymond Levy. Levy and three of his best designers, Bob Andrews, Tom Kellogg, and John Epstein, worked for 40 days on the for its time sensational design. The lateral line runs from the sword like wings into a soft curved line to the round raised rear. The very large rear window stretches around the corners like a panorama glass whereas the windscreen is rather flat and small. On the front, Levy had renounced the conventional radiator grille and used only a ventilation opening on the underside of the bumper. The first Avanti models have round front headlights, while on the later successor models, the headlights are framed in a rectangular. How consistent Levy was in his design is reflected, for example, in the scoop, shaped asymmetrically on the bonnet, stretching itself into the interior of the dashboard. Levy's design was brought into production without major changes. Due to the tight financial situation, Studebaker could invest very little money into the Avanti development. Therefore, the framework of a Studebaker La convertible, which went back to the origins to the year of 1953, was used under the fiberglass shell of the modern occurring Avanti. Studebaker started a large-scale marketing campaign before the market presentation. The advance orders promised a bestseller. But with the sales release in 1962, it was revealed. Only a few vehicles could be delivered due to problems with the fiberglass body. The body parts were produced at a plant in Ashtabula, Ohio, which built all fiberglass parts for the Chevrolet Corvette. The delivered vehicles were equipped in terms of safety. All components on the inside are formed with soft edges and covered with soft plastic. In the middle of the passenger compartment, a roll bar stretches across the roof line. Bucket seats made of vinyl guarantee sporty comfort. The dashboard is equipped with cockpit-like elements, such as the control buttons on the center console and the light switches for the light centered over the front window. An oversized vanity mirror and a glove compartment is prepared for the female passenger. In the model shown here works a powerful P2 V8 engine with 289 horsepower. This performance refers to the 4.7 liter engine with a Paxton supercharger. The Avanti reaches a top speed of approximately 275 km per hour. Studebaker was working on some variants that should improve the performance of the engines and experimented on racing versions. Amongst other testings, Studebaker attempted a world record with a Avanti on the famous Bonneville salt track. In December 1963, Studebaker announced that the car production at its headquarter in South Bend, Indiana, will set and further on only produce in the Canadian Hamilton. The production of the models Avanti, Hawk and any pickups and trucks completely ceased. Up to the production settings, exactly 4,643 vehicles were built of the Studebaker Avanti from 1963 on. The car manufacturer Studebaker survived exactly two years, 
and then had to close the gates.